Let's explore the count ifs function together. Notice the s. If we had just one criteria, we would use the count if function. But here, we want to screen stocks based on three criteria. So we're going to use the count if with an s. And it's fantastic. For example, if you want to screen stocks based on market cap and EV, EBITDA, and PE, we would use the count if function. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you may want to follow along with me and just copy this. I'm just going to delete that so I can complete it with you. Now, the count is function is relatively straightforward. There's just a couple of tricks I'm going to highlight for you. Here's our data set, and I've just made up some imaginary stocks with market caps in millions. So that's 500 million. That's 2.53 billion and so on. We have our EV EBITDA multiples, and we have our PE ratios, our PE multiples. But what we want to do is we want to identify the stocks that are larger than a billion but have an EV EBITDA of less than eight times and a P multiple less than 13 times, maybe indicating that we think these may be undervalued and possible investment opportunities. So what we want to do is then in the gray shaded box, which here is C19, I'm going to do the count ifs function. And it simply equals count ifs. Then you always choose the range first. So we're going to do market cap first. And then we actually do the criteria. Now here's the little trick. We want to say, we want to look at stocks that are greater than a market cap of a billion. We have to put a quotation around the greater sign. And then combine it or concatenate it with the ampersand so that we can link it to the cell C15. So that quotation mark, greater than sign, quotation mark, ampersand, and then the C15 will basically say, look for anything that's greater than 1,000 or a billion in this case. Now, we just keep doing it with the next criteria. So we have to choose the next criteria range, which is EV EBITDA multiples. Our criteria, again, the trick is quotation mark, less than quotation mark ampersand to combine it with C16. OK, next thing we do, final criteria, we highlight the PE data. We then put the criteria by putting a comma, and it is quotation mark, less than quotation mark, ampersand. Then we just choose the cell, in this case, C17. Now, I know that there are only two stocks in this data set that actually meet these three criteria. Let's just make sure it works. And there we have it. Use the countess function wherever you need to pull out data that meets multiple criteria.